Hello chemistry class, it's Mr. Ng and I wanted to make you a video uh, showing you how to get through those uh, molarity problems. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with this problem. Um, before we even read the problem, let's start with our formula. Our formula is that molarity is equal to moles over liters. So let's read the problem and identify if we have moles or liters available. So how many grams, so this is what it wants, I'll put a question mark here, this is what we're looking for, of potassium carbonate are needed to make 200 mils, this is basically our liters. I know it's in mils right now, but we just call it 0.2 liters of a 2.5 molar solution. So here's our big M. So let's plug in. Our big M is 2.5, 2.5 molarity is equal to we don't know the moles, so let's put an X there, you know, like how we do in algebra. And then down here, our 200 mils, let's write that as uh, 0.2 liters. And let's solve for X. Uh, to solve for X, I'm just going to cross multiply, all right? I'm just going to multiply these two together and multiply these two together. You have to just imagine there's a 1 here. Hello. All right, so uh, that means that... 2.5 times 0.2 is equal to x. That means um, x is equal to 0.5. Our unit here is moles, right? Because moles are up here. So two, uh, 0.5 moles of potassium carbonate, which is K2CO3. So uh, we're real close. It has moles, but we want grams. So all we got to do is some um, uh, molar mass conversions. So let's go through that molar mass conversion. Uh, our given here is 0.5 moles of potassium carbonate, K2CO3. And we want to convert that into uh, grams. So let's set up our, um, let's set up our um, little fraction here where we want to get out of moles. So we'll write moles on the bottom. And we want to get into grams, so grams on top. Right, and the chemical stays the same, K2CO3. So for every one mole, we'll need to put the molar mass of K2CO3. I looked it up for us. It's 138.2 grams. If you're wondering where I got this, um, this is where uh, we, we added up all the um, molar masses from the periodic table. So here, I just have to multiply across and I get 69.1 grams of K2CO3. Good? So um, if you are a little um, lost here where I got this, uh, look up a video about how to find molar masses, and that should be good enough. I just don't want to waste time on this video. Let's keep going. Another problem, how many liters of a four molar solution can be made using 100 grams of lithium bromide. So again, let's go with big M is equal to moles over liters. It wants the liters, so our liters is going to be our X. Um, we have the big M, so that's checked off, but we don't have moles. Instead, we have 100 grams of lithium bromide. So I think the first thing we got to do is convert that 100 grams of lithium bromide into moles. So let's start there. 100 grams of lithium bromide. We need to get that into moles. So uh, let's put grams on the bottom, moles on top. Notice that it's switched from the prior um, problem because, well, we're in grams. And to get rid of grams, we put grams on the bottom. LIBR, LIBR. So one mole of lithium bromide uh, weighs... 86.85 and I just looked that up right just molar mass of the compound so if you divide 100 divided by 86 you will get 1.15 moles of lithium bromide great so this moles is going to slide right in here so let's plug in we have our big M our big M is 4 molar is equal to 1.15 moles over, I'm just going to write the X there just so that you're reminded of algebra, over 1. And let's do some good old cross multiplying. 
you guys, and you guys. So what I have here is um, 4x is equal to 1.15. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. That means uh, x is going to equal to 2.88. That's an 8, by the way. So our answer is 2.88 liters because it's we were looking for this thing down here right it's liters good one last one so again we're going to start with our uh, formula big m is equal to moles over liters so let's scan through the problem what is the concentration so it wants the big m that's what it wants of an aqueous solution has a volume of 450 mils and 200 grams so uh, we kind of have the liters we have 450 mils which is 0.45 liters but we have this in grams which is not good uh, let's turn that into moles so 200 grams of iron 2 chloride this is FeCl2 we want this in moles please let's put this into moles so one mole of FeCl2 is equal to the molar mass of FeCl2 and the molar mass of iron 2 chloride is 126.75 I'm going to divide 200 divided by 126 and I got 1.58 moles of iron 2 chloride great so Again, I just did some molar mass conversions. I'm now in moles. I can slide this mole right here, right? I could slide the 0.45 right here. So big M is going to equal to 1.58 moles divided by 0.45 liters. That means our molarity is equal to 3.5. 5, 1 molar great so what did I do almost every time number one I started out with that chemical formula and then um, if I needed to convert to moles this is a, a step that happens often we got to get into moles and we got to get into liters so once I do that I can plug in and then I can find the remaining variable pretty easy thank you very much for watching